Praise the Lord. Welcome to our Wednesday in the Word Bible study. I'm Lady Frances McMullen, and my husband is joining me. And we're from Restoration Family Worship Center. Uh, this is our Wednesday in the Word, and we're just excited to be able to come into your homes and just share with you a word of encouragement on today. Uh, Pastor Tracy, would you like to start us off with prayer? Sure. Lord Jesus, we thank you today. We thank you for thank this you, opportunity. Thank you, Lord to share your word with these listeners, Lord, that's located all over the place. Oh, God, as they listen, Lord, open up their hearts and their understanding due to the word of God that we will be feeding them on today. These favors and blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. Amen. If you're just in your living room, can you just praise God with us? Hallelujah. Praise him. Thank Glory you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, it and is. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Um, we're in this stay at home um, right now, this, this order, and a lot of us are not used to just staying at home. And so some people have gotten depressed. But guess what? I am not depressed because oh, God is with me is and so I'm good. taking this time and I'm using this time in a constructive way. And I hope you are too. I hope you're taking the time out to uh, go in your secret closet and mm -hmm. pray and to consecrate yourselves. And sometimes we just need to think about life, Amen. think about where we are. And just, you know, sometimes we're so busy that we don't get a chance to just sit down and spend time with ourselves. Yeah. And so today, that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about purpose. Because sometimes we're just moving back and forth, doing things so much that we don't just sit down and have quiet time with God and, and, and really discover our purpose. Sometimes we're just going here and there. We're jumping from one thing to the next. But in this season, I believe that God wants us to be focused. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is a time to focus. Amen. Yes, it is. So Pastor's going to start us out with our uh, Bible lesson today. Yes. And today we're going to be talking about purpose. Yes. And everybody heard that it's almost kind of old. But I believe that God is calling us back. Amen. to our real purpose in life. Amen. And it's not all the things that we thought it was, but it's really in him. And so we're just going to talk about purpose just a little bit on today to encourage you so that when we um, are off broadcast, you begin to dig and you begin to get in the yes. face of God to see where you're hitting it and missing it because we want to be found in the will of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to start reading Jeremiah 29 and 11. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not of, not of evil, to give you an expected end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So this is in Jeremiah. And God is saying, for I know the thoughts that yes. I think toward you. And they are thoughts of what? Peace. peace. And not of evil. Not of evil. To give you an expected end. And I think right now the things that we're going through, we're all wondering, what is the purpose of this? Yes, yes. <laughs> Where is this taking us to? Amen. But the word of God tells us mm -hmm. that God knows yes. concerning us, yes. his plans and his purpose. Although yes. we cannot see them, some of us are thinking that they may have changed because mm -hmm. of things that are going on. But God's word doesn't change. Amen. And purpose is the reason for which something is done mm -hmm. or created yes. or for which something exists. So we're going through this uh, COVID-19, and how, guess what? We're talking about our purpose, but guess what? There's a purpose for this. Amen. There's a reason for this. Mm -hmm. But one thing we know that concerning us, God said in his word, and he cannot lie, mm -hmm. that it's going to bring us to an expected end. Which is a good end. Which is a good end. Bringing you to a good end. Amen. Yes. And Psalms 57 and 2 says... I will cry unto God most high, mm -hmm. and to God that performeth all things for me. Yes. And what is that saying? That I am going to cry unto God because it is God that's going to accomplish. That's right. God that's going to bring forth the purpose in all these things. Yes. The purpose of my life. Yes. All things on my behalf. Yes. The scripture says, for he completes my purpose in his plan. Yes. So these things are happening right now, but God's going to perform his purpose in it concerning us. Amen. I don't see no good in it, but the scripture says that he has an expected Amen. end, that he already knows the end from the beginning. Amen. And I thank God for that right now. And we can thank God for that because God knows every purpose under the sun. He is not ignorant about anything. So we can rest assured that God has the purpose in mind even for us. 
Well, the word purpose in mind. See, sometimes while we're going through what we're going through, we, we don't know what the purpose is. You know, God, what are you trying to tell me now? Yeah. What is it you're trying to teach me? And it takes a lot of patience and trust mm -hmm. in God to get through these lessons that, that we're learning. It's taken, it's even taken me to a place that I never thought yeah. I'd be. Yeah. And it's going to take a lot of patience and trust to understand what God is trying to teach us and show us. Yes. And sometimes um, the devil works with impatience. Yes. We get kind of yes. impatient. The God says he's going to bring us to an expected end, but we want the end to hurry up and get here. Yes. <laughs> and we don't want to go through the process. Now, there's a process at, to get to that end. We just want we just want the process to be done, and we want the good to come out of it. But there's a process, and the lesson is learned, First Lady, through the process. Yes, it is. It's so none of us know the end of this, do we? Mm -mm. But we just got to be patient and we have to trust God. We have to know that he has a purpose in all of this. Yes. And so what we want to do is we want to encourage you. Because somebody may have just opened up their business, became an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and now this happens. Yeah. And so maybe you feel like, man, man I wasn't walking in my purpose. Now there is um, a hindrance a to me. Interruption. Yeah, there's a little mm -hmm. interruption. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. But you're not stuck. Come you're on. Not stuck. Come on, don't mm -mm. feel stuck. Mm -mm. Come on, you're going to fulfill the call and the purpose That's that right. God has on your life. That's right. So we come to agree with you on today. Yeah. And we come to rebuke and to cast down all those all feelings doubts. of doubt. Yeah. And to let you know that God has your purpose established mm -hmm. already. Yes, Philippians 4 and and six says what? Be anxious. Oh, yes. There we for go. For nothing. Yes. Come on. But in, in all, all things, things, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, thanksgiving what? Let, let your request let be made known, known unto, unto God. God. Yeah, so, yeah. hey, 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 hey. It didn't yeah, change. Yeah. It didn't change. Don't be anxious. Don't be stressful. Don't even be looking at all these things that's going on around you. If God gave it to you, he's going to fulfill Can it. Can I say this too, First Lady? There's a verse that's right above uh -huh. Verse 6, it says, let your moderation be made known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Yes. The, the word moderation means let your unselfishness Yee, God. be made known. Now, now we, we shouldn't be people that's real edgy, mm, mm. angry. You know, some people are known for being angry. Some people are known for just keeping up confusion. But we want to be known for being unselfish. Yes. We want to be known for being gentle. Yes. We want to be known for being kind. That's what Paul is saying in this verse. And sometimes the situation at hand can make you act another way. But Ooh, Paul Jesus. said, no, no, no. Don't let people know you for being that angry, upset person at what's going on right now in the world. But let that but be known as a gentle and kind person. It said, let your moderation be made known. Let your kindness and gentleness. Yes. Be made known. Even in this hour, let it be made known. Yes. And how does it be how do you make it known? Because you're anchored in God. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm not worried about it because what he said is gonna come to pass. Yes. Nothing has changed with God. So mm -hmm. therefore I can remain calm. Yeah. Come on, I don't got to be all stressed out there and you come go. unglued. There you, go. you know, because I there believe go. what God said. He didn't yeah. change his mind, right? Yeah. So if somebody um is is kind of like um On edge. uneasy On about easy. where things are going yeah. and how they fit into things, mm -hmm. God didn't change. He his didn't expected change. end is still there yes, and it is. has not been interrupted. That's Glory. Right. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. To God. But you must know that there is no purpose without God. That's it. Come on, there is no purpose without God. Mm -hmm. So, you know, right now our focus is being changed um, because we're looking at the news a lot and we're, we, you know, just a lot of things just going on. Like but I just yeah. encourage you today to stay focused. There you go. To stay focused put yeah. to keep your mind on the word yes, of God. Yes. So how do I regain my footing? How do I regain my purpose? In prayer. That's prayer it. keeps you solid. Mm -hmm. It keeps you from going, mm -hmm. from being unglued. Amen. Yes. It helps you to not be anxious yes. for anything, right? Yes. And then other the other thing is your word. That's it. Read the word Read of it. God. Get it in your heart. Get it in your heart. Yes. James 1 and 22 says do not merely listen mm -hmm. to the word mm -hmm. and, and, and to deceive yourselves, yeah. but do it. Do the word. Come on, this is the time to do the yes. word, y'all. Yeah. This is the time to stand on now the word is the time. of God. Amen. 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 And then some of us, um, 
we start to doubt even our gifts and our purposes mm-hmm. in times like these because you know my resources ain't here things ain't coming right and so mm-hmm. therefore it cannot be mm-hmm. but you know what this is the time when we ought to start stirring up those That's gifts it. in us fine tuning them this is the time yes. that we start fine tuning them yes. and exercising them amen? amen this is the time for us to start exploring those passions that you know mm-hmm. that God has uh, given that's you. It. That's it. Amen. And Amen. I found in the word, it was in Hebrew 13 and 21, and then this is the New Living Translation. It says, may he equip you mm-hmm. with all you need that's for it. doing his will. And may he produce in you. Come, This is the time of production. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. May he produce in you through the power of Jesus Christ Every good thing that is pleasing to him. Amen. So in your purpose that he already has, he already knows and has an expected end, you don't have to worry about it because he's equipping you even in this hour. As you spend time with him, he's equipping you for every good thing. That's it. Come on, this look bad, but come on, say something good is coming out of this. Something good is coming out of this. Yes, something good is coming out even out of me. Mm-hmm. Ooh, come on, if you can get this. Something good is coming out of me. My purpose is being realized even more. When when you say equipped, he's giving you what you need to get the job done. Mm. You think about a construction worker. You don't tell a construction worker, okay, go build a house, but you don't give him a hammer. Okay, go build a house, but you don't give him power tools. Okay, go build a house, but you don't give him a shovel to dig the hole. See, when you tell a carpenter to build a house, you're going to give them the, the saw, the power tools. You're going to give them the, the shovel to dig the holes. Mm-hmm. You're going to give them the nails mm-hmm. to hammer the framework together. So you're equipping that uh, carpenter to build what you told them to build. Mm-hmm. What are you saying, Pastor? God has given us right now what we need to be successful in him, to live out our purpose according to to his will. Yes. He's given us his word. He's given us uh, prayer time. He's given us trust in him. And he's equipping us, building us up, getting us ready, preparing us for the work he has for us. Amen. And what better, what better time? What better time Amen. than now? Everybody is talking about how bad it is, but what better time than, than you, now, than than now for God to show you, 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 know, you. That's it. Whew, glory to God. Amen. To show you you. Yeah. And Psalms 37 and 5 says, commit thy way unto Mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. So in order to realize your purpose and to be successful in it, you got to release yourself to God. You got to commit commit your work to him. And then not just give it to him, but then you got to trust also in him so that he can bring it to pass. So sometimes we never get past the place that we're at now. The big stumbling block sometimes is the commitment. It's the, and it's us. Yep. Come on, it's, it's us. Commitment. And so sometimes we're running away from mm-hmm. us. We're That's running it. away from those things that God is trying to That's prune it. us and take away mm-hmm. so that we can be perfect and complete in him to do this plan. And God never changes his plan concerning us. He told, uh, um, who was that that was in the fish's mouth? Um, Jonah. Jonah, yes. He told Jonah to go and cry out to Nineveh, that evil city, you know, yes, repentance. Yes. And Jonah had another plan in mind. That's right, that's right. He tried to go to Tarshish, which was in a different direction than <laughs> the way of Nineveh. And, you know, sometimes we go take our lives in a different direction. And sometimes... God has to give us yes, a divine yes. interruption. Yes, and he good. gave uh, Jeremiah a divine interrupt, Jonah, Jonah a divine mm-hmm. interruption. Mm-hmm. And he uh, caused a, 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 the sea oh, well. to get, get angry and they had to cast stuff out of the ship. Ooh, and, and Jonah said, hey, if you cast me out, maybe God will stop all of this stuff because he's angry. And he cast and they cast Jonah out. But God prepared, the Bible says, a great fish ah, yes. to swallow him. But, but let me tell you this. After he repented and after he says, okay, God, yes. while he was down there in that fish's belly, I'm going to go ahead and do what you originally called me to do. Guess what? God did not Ooh, change his mind Jesus. concerning Jonah. Mm-mm. And what I'm trying to tell you, God has not changed his mind Concerning you, yes. you might you might have taken yourself out of the way. You, Jonah made it harder for himself by going to Tarshish yes. when he just could have went to Nineveh and got it over like with. Like God said. Like God said. And sometimes we do the opposite of what God is telling us. But guess what? Huh. 
His plan has not changed concerning you. He still got a good and expected end. Yes. He's just waiting on you to get in line with his plan. Yes. That is so awesome. I just enjoy yes. Pastor Thank that you. analysis right there. Because that is so true. God doesn't change his plan no, concerning he don't. us. Mm -mm. He has a way of just bringing us back. That's right. He and has I that believe, divine interruption. I believe that COVID-19 <laughs> is his way of bringing yes. the church back, back to, to the it. things yes. of the there kingdom. You go. Come on. There you Give go. me a high five. There you go. The things yes. of the kingdom. The things, things that, that really matter. Matters. Yes, yes. It's the not about titles. It's not about money. It's not about none of this stuff, what mm. you're driving, where you're living. Yes. God wants people to get saved. Whew, glory. That's Hallelujah. it. That's it. But we've complicated the gospel so much and we diluted it. Yes, yes. We diluted it with our stuff. And God yes. said, oh, I'm really concerned about his souls. Yes, his purpose. My purpose. His That's purpose. right. That's Amen. right. That's right. And, and if, if we've never seen it before, we see now where God is calling us back. Back. To, to our basics. first love. Back That's to right. the basics. Back to the basics. Back, yeah. back to the basics. Yes, he is. Glory to God. And I'm so glad that he has mercy on us. Yes. That he said that if my people would mm -hmm. call by my name, mm -hmm. would humble themselves and pray, yes. seek my face, yes. turn from their wicked ways, yes. then he'll hear from heaven, heal the land, and mm -hmm. he'll forgive us of our, our sins. sins. So he's telling us what to do. And yes. it's all in his divine purpose. That's right. Because right. I know we didn't got so far off, y'all. Yes. We have. And if this don't get us on track as a church, I don't know what will. Yes. <laughs> but God is trying to get our attention. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because we have to realize who we are. Yes. And Ephesians 2 and 10 says, for we are his workmanship. Yes. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works, mm -hmm. which God hath before ordained yes. that we should walk in them. Mm -hmm. That was his purpose. He made us. He ordained us yes. so that we can walk in his ways this, already. His ways. Hallelujah. Our, and his, his, purposes his purpose for our lives. Yes. So God is working in us. Yes. Come on. Yes. Philippians 2 and 13, the New Living Transli Translation says, For God is working in you. Mm -hmm. He's working in us. Yes. He is giving us the, the desire yeah. and the power yeah, to, to do, do what pleases it's him. And in the, yes, in the King James mm -hmm. Version, it says the that they have the mm -hmm. will. It is him that worketh yes. in us the will and to do mm. of his, his good, good pleasure. pleasure. So we have to let him work the will and mm -hmm. to do of his good pleasure, good pleasure. of his purposes. Yeah. And some of ours have become a little diluted. Yeah, got, it's gotten diluted. It's gotten yeah. a little, yeah. you know. Yeah. But I thank God because he always brings us back. Yeah. Because like it says in Jeremiah 29, 11, just in case you don't know, mm -hmm. I know. Still got the <laughs> he said, I still you. know mm -hmm. what I planned for I you. Planned for I you. still know the purpose I had for you mm -hmm. in this earth. Mm -hmm. It didn't change. Mm -hmm. My thoughts didn't change. And what you see now, you might see as evil, but he said, my plan is a peace. Mm -hmm. And if you let me have my way, mm -hmm. I'll bring you, bring you to, to that expected end. Hallelujah. Sometimes we got to get spanked and oh reminded, you know, but hey, after the spanking is over, the purpose hasn't changed. Amen. 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 So we just hope that something we said on today stirs you on the inside mm -hmm. to say, God, do it again. Yes. Save me again. Even if I'm not saved, well, Lord, I want to try you. I want to try your way. I want your direction in my life because where I've been going is taking me nowhere. Mm -hmm. But we already saw in the word of God how he has an expected end for us. Yes. So I want to yoke up with him because yes. I need to know where I'm going. Or yes. at least I need to be able to trust who's leading me. We're going to lead you in prayer on, to, on this evening that the purpose of God will be realized in your life. That even the church of God, the body, yes. would come up to where we should be. Amen. That we will repent from Amen. going off, from veering into mm -hmm. our own lust and our yeah. own passions and our own agendas. Yes. But that God will be the forefront in everything that we do. And God's going to turn this around. Yes, he is. God's, he's doing it now. Hallelujah. Yes, yes Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. As we rededicate ourselves yes. and as we say to God, Lord, your will be done in my your life. Will be done. I will follow you. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, I won't get tired. Yes. Come on, some of us just got tired. Mm -hmm. Come on, just got tired. Mm -hmm. But God is trying to re, uh, invigorate yeah, us. There you go. And re-energize us, right. right? That's right, that's right. Because we have to remember yes. that in due season, mm -hmm. we're going to reap if, if we faint not. not. Come on, yes, Pastor, would yes. you just lead us 
and prayer yes. and pray for those who who don't know the Lord and then pray for those that do and just want God to um, re repurpose them actually yes. to really give them back what they lost that energy that fire and that vigor for the purpose that God showed them.